Hi, my name is Keith Kirkland and I'm the co-founder at WearWorks. Today I'm out using the Wayband app on the iPhone. And I'm gonna show you exactly what it feels like when you're navigating around. So let's take a quick trip. So I just entered a location that's right on the bank of the lake at Prospect Park. So we're gonna go walk around. And I'm just gonna give you a sense of exactly how the haptic corridor works. Before we begin, let's get our intro in place. So right now I'm facing right down the road, which is the correct direction. So I feel absolutely no vibration right now. I'm gonna swivel slightly to the left and I feel a vibration right here, almost at about 30 degrees. As I swivel to the right, the vibration goes away again. And here again, it starts very slightly at about 30 degrees again. So as you can see about 30 degrees left and right of the center line, you feel absolutely nothing. And we call this the haptic corridor. Now, as you hit the corridor, you start to feel a tiny vibration. You keep turning, you'll feel the vibration get louder and louder in intensity. Basically, it's telling you that you're going the wrong way. And when you're 180 degrees the wrong way, we give you the loudest vibration. And then it's a symmetrical experience. So whether you turn back left to right, it doesn't matter. So I'll turn back to the left. The vibrations get lighter, 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 lighter. I feel nothing and I know this is the way to go. So let's go walk around the park. So right now I feel absolutely no vibration. And it's a beautiful day actually. So I'm enjoying the scenery, a couple out on a paddle boat. Usually I'm looking down at my map right now and I don't have to do that experience. And that's really what the wave is all about. Now I'm still feeling no vibration. So I feel like I'm going in the right direction. And I can see up front approaching me is a curve. So I feel a slight vibration. I just turn slightly. Now I'm back in no vibration again. So when we sense a tight turn, something bigger than 45 degrees will give you what we call a preemptive left or right haptic. Now that's a haptic that shows up right before, about 20 feet before a turn to let you know that a turn is going to come up just so you don't have to wait and figure it out when you get there. Kind of like turn signals for cars, let you know which way your drivers are going. We let you know which way you're going to turn next so that you don't have that challenge. Now I'm holding my phone up pretty high right now just for the sake of demoing, but I could drop my phone down to my side completely out of view. I could even put my phone in my pocket if my clothing fit tightly enough so that I could still feel the vibrations. Now I just got a preemptive haptic. What I felt was buzz buzz to let me know something was coming. And then I felt four distinct buzzes. One, two, three, four. That's the buzz for a right turn is coming up. And as you can see, the pathway just showed up for us to walk around to get off the main road to stay along the edge of the lake. So even walkways and pathways and parks are mapped out pretty well. And we use open street maps. So anyone can go into OpenStreetMaps, update the data in real time, and we'll have that data updated within 10 to 12 business days. And now I've just gotten 10 consecutive buzzes, which is the signal that I've arrived. So that's how you use your way van. That's how the haptic corridor feels. And we're super excited for you to get out there and try it out for yourselves.